So Max, what was the uh, <laughs> since the interview? How's how's life been for you, man? <laughs> the the, <laughs> the interview, infamous interview. Yeah. Um, it's been interesting. Yeah, it was it was odd how viral it went because I I was I was trying to temper myself when I'm with Tainton, and then you know, like just before a game, when you've taken all the caffeine supplements. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. And everything is getting weird. Something's rousing in the blood, but um, with Tainton, it was just good chemistry, and then it flowed nicely. Who's Tainton's the guy? Yeah, like the media manager, wonderful bloke. And yeah. Um, yeah, it's been strange, man. Definitely more like commercial opportunities, so to speak. Surely you've given quite a few interviews like that before. Yeah. That one just to the one that caught. I think it's just more how flowy it is because on the other ones, I'm sort of just almost got like some kind of involuntary set of Tourette's just throwing out savage similes and stuff. But that one just kind of flowed quite well. Yeah, it but yeah well. maybe it, I think sport, one sport Bible retweeted it then it went nuts. that was it yeah did you know that did you know when you were doing it that oh, i'm doing something oh, this is gonna, <laughs> this is no, gonna blow fucking blow up this <laughs> no man i had no Sitting idea on a nuclear war yeah, 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 yeah i'm like this is going to explode no <laughs> man i had no idea and then suddenly it just started like triggering her uh just going over i was like this is nuts especially on twitter yeah fully crazy but it was quite funny i enjoyed it i'm glad it resonated with so many people because rugby's weird like that isn't it when you get guys in front of the mic, they just sort of become quite vulnerable and they just want to stick to status quo. There's a few guys who are sort of quite um, transparent. I think uh, Genji can be quite funny. Yeah. Um, Joe, obviously. Big uh, Joe Marler's out there. It's all, it's all the props, mate. What? Yeah. <laughs> Is that me? Absolutely. <laughs> Coward. Yeah. Just stay, stay just low, a, move fast. Just mate. a mute. <laughs> yeah, 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 the guy he's talking about towing the party line, that's yeah. <laughs> passive aggressively. Yeah. yeah, just. No, I um, I don't know. Do you know what I think it is? Because I was thinking about this about MMA, is I think everyone's scared of getting shown up. Oh, yeah. So, Matt, like, the I was scrutiny. Like, yeah, I know what you mean. If you, if you, if you, there's like a culture in sport, if, if you say something, oh, you know, oh, that's, you know what I mean? Say you say something a little bit out there, like, I think we're going to win. And then you play and you don't win. Everyone's like, ah, dickhead. You know what I mean? Like you're lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas in like, and plus it's a team sports. You're not accountable for everyone in the team. Whereas if it's like more individual sports, I guess they can say what they want because they're fully accountable or something like that. It's weird that isn't it because in the MMA or boxing uh, or like any martial arts, like everyone's so confident they're like dead set they're gonna win. And like yeah. you said, when you watch team sports, they well, I don't know. Especially with rugby as well, like everyone seems to be like proper modest about. I don't know whether that's like a UK thing or whether it's like worldwide. But like no one's like, oh yeah, we're gonna go put our foot on their throat and you know put fifty points on them. No, they're certainly not. But I think it's because they just don't want to get embarrassed. That's what I think it comes down to. Yeah. Yeah, but I guess when it when it when it does come down to it, there's always gonna be trolls, isn't there? So you could, I reckon, you could just fly into it anyway if you have got tough enough skin. It would just make it more entertaining, wouldn't it? It would do, but I don't know who's who's. Who, the canary in the coal mine in that situation because I'm not shall I do it well, yeah, do, <laughs> do you want to do it Max now you've got this new platform <laughs> just, oh. it would be quite fun to just like call out blokes for crack just like just on like social media and stuff imagine how much that like you know like almost like WWE style just be like I'm about to put you in more of a skiers than an Italian tank <laughs> at Harry Williams <laughs> do you think people would I reckon that some people would love it, but maybe I reckon a lot of people would see through it. But if you could like get the right bloke who would enjoy that, like imagine if you did it with Genji, it'd be hilarious. Like when he sledges, he's he's gifted. He's, yeah, he's yeah, a witty yeah. man. He has he's he's given me some funny ones in my time. Where are you? Where do you stand on the sledging? Do you sledge? Not really. I'll I'll I'll, <laughs> I'll say the odd phrase but not I'm not going to like completely denigrate someone in front of me in a way where do you think do you feel you you feel you have that power in your hands you choose not to yeah but I feel like I'd only <laughs> I'd only do it if I was on the front foot you know what I mean <laughs> after like the first two scrums I'd be like ah Here yeah so go. I'll have my way with you this game <laughs> and, then, and then I'd throw some stuff in but if I'm down at Welford Road and I'm getting pumped I'll be uh, well, long day. Yeah, you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> Better right. keep my I am, mouth shut. I am shut. a worthless piece of shit. <laughs> you are indeed right. I am on all the blades, Genji. <laughs> but like, yeah, I don't know. It could be. Or do you reckon? I reckon the fans would love that. I don't. I honestly don't know, mate. I think they're a hard. They're a hard beast to predict. Yeah, I know what you mean. Fans. It's Hold crying out for it, mate. I think it's crying out for it. Like a Conor McGregor style yeah, actor you know, to like come into rugby. 
like I reckon if you did it well it could work I'm really not sure brother I'm really not sure but then there's like the authenticity angle to it like yeah. you know it, you know in, in MMA sometimes you can tell when it's like a bit of an act and they're just like going yeah, back and forth mean, to and sell pay per views exactly yeah. and then you can tell when it's like they really fucking hate each other and I think like with rugby I couldn't imagine anyone ever doing it with like malice you know what I enough I mean venom. it would yeah, always yeah. be a bit enough venom to make cheap. it like legit yeah